Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today I am going over the accessories I use to play Vanguard. Now I've made this video twice before but this was a while ago and I like to make update videos so you see if certain choices change and so forth. I do have to say some of the items I have here I got for free from Dragon Shield because I'm technically sponsored slash affiliated by them. With that being said, I specifically reached out to them to get those items because I actually use their products. I have received offers before from other brands and I simply said no because I don't use their items. You can also go back to my oldest videos where I wasn't sponsored yet by them and I was already using their products. So I just wanted to be perfectly clear there. You will notice some of the choices I have here are different from the ones I had before and others are the same. So let's start off with deck boxes. I am a big, big fan of Dragon Shield Nest Plus deck boxes. We have some uh, sealed ones right here as well. Basically, all of my decks are in these. I think I still have like a couple Ultra Pro uh, Satin Towers where I mostly like put in some bulk or something like that. But if I am bringing a deck to a tournament and I actually play that deck regularly, you can be sure it will be in one of these Nest Pluses every single time. So I don't really know if I'm saying the name right, but it's Nest Plus 100. Essentially, you can fit in 100 cards in here. I don't know if you can fit in 100 double sleeved cards. You might have to double check that. I am at least able to put in a complete deck double sleeved along with a G zone double sleeved along with imaginary gift markers double sleeved along with a quick shield double sleeved. And that's basically all I need. Like that's the maximum you can have in any Vanguard format. But obviously cards fitting inside isn't the only thing that's important for me. There's plenty of deck boxes out there where cards fit. My first actual deck box in the first video of this I ever made was a satin tower and my issue with them was that all of those pieces didn't seem to match, like sometimes the bottom compartment for dice would just fall off because of how flimsy it was, I don't know, whereas other boxes were totally fine, so it was like a, a quality control issue, I guess. You can't have that with these. These are held together by magnets, then you can just plop them open, you can put the, the second compartment here just like this, so it can stand on your table and, and it'll function, and then your dice compartment can just be you know, taken out right here, as you can see. I don't know how many dice it actually fits. I would say it's about 9 D6s? Or is it 12? I don't know. I usually have a variety of D6s and D20s in here for power gain and going first and so forth. And then when you don't use it, you can just slide it back in and you have your deck right here. I really like these because they look very premier, like luxurious. I don't know how else to call it. It's not just your typical plastic deck box this this feels solid and sturdy and it doesn't slide out of your hand it just looks really really nice there's also variants without a dice compartment but i'm not a huge fan of that i like to have my dice compartment with my deck box because let's say i'm going to a major event i want to just take one box out and know i have everything there obviously they do take more space that way though so if you're a fan of having like 20 decks maybe you want the ones without the dice compartment but, you know, that's personal preference. Moving on from deck boxes, however, this is a pretty important one. We have sleeves and over sleeves. Now, for sleeves, I usually like to use Bushiroad sleeves. Like you can see right here, we have uh, just regular Vanguard sleeves. They are Japanese size, so they work on Yu-Gi-Oh! and Vanguard. Obviously, when I'm playing Vanguard, I play with Vanguard sleeves. That has remained mostly the same. And then I put those into Dragon Shield clear sleeves the other way around, you know, so the card can't fall out, you can't have dust or water hitting it. You have a perfect, you know, enclosure or something like that. However, the outer sleeve has changed. For many, many years, and even on this card still, I have used Dragon Shield standard matte sleeves. These sleeves were specifically made, as far as I'm aware, just for standard card games, so Magic and Pokemon. It just so happened to work as an outer sleeve as well. So as you can see, this is literally just a Magic or Pokemon sleeve. This is a Japanese sized card and when you have a sleeve around it, it just happened to work out. I like these a lot because they have a great shuffle feel. They don't tend to get dirty quite as quickly as other sleeves I've tried before. I don't know, they just feel great in my hand. I've seen other people use stuff like Broccoli and Z and so forth, like different fight uses those. Those are probably fine, but those feel like weapons to me. Like I keep getting cut by them, so it's not for me. 
they also tend to get like very sticky like whenever I shuffle a deck from Chris I'm like how do you take this out <laughs> but again he likes them so it's definitely also a personal preference thing but so I really like these because they don't tend to stick they don't have that that stickiness to them because of the matte bag however I now changed that's crazy I've never changed sleeves before you've seen me change deck boxes you've seen me change everything never sleeves but still to the same brand because we now have these Dragon Shield Japanese size matte clear outer sleeves. So essentially you have the exact same sleeve as the standard clear matte, but slightly smaller. <laughs> Literally, like I've put these on a few decks now. They are the exact same thing, exact same shuffle feel, just slightly easier to handle because they're slightly smaller. And you no longer have that slightly looser fit that you had with the standard outers. Because these standard outers, as you can see, well, you probably can't see it on the camera, but the card can move like a millimeter or something like that. Like ever so slightly, it doesn't fit quite right. Now, if you press your deck, you know, vacuum, let's say, like you press it together, the, the sleeve still stayed in their place. But technically, there was still... A little bit of moving room and with these you no longer have that so it's literally just the sleeve I've always been used to but in the exactly correct size and that's like a game changer for me like I'm actually excited the weird thing is I actually came to know these by accident I was at um, Outpost Antwerp at a premium locals and I asked for some sleeves, like the, the standard clear outers. They didn't have them. Uh, Dylan got these for me, so thank you so much, Dylan. And these fit better. I was like, huh? How, how do they fit better? So I checked it out, I contacted Dragon Shield, and yeah, it turns out these are just straight up better. These are pretty new as well, so that's why I wasn't using them before. And so yeah, they're literally just my standard clear mats from always, but they finally fit Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh perfectly. So super excited for these. So that's my new one. Also, I'll have a link in the description where you can buy these. I'll have a link for EU and also a link for US. But if you go to your lo local game store and ask them for them, they can probably also buy them if you prefer to specifically support your locals. I'm gradually now going to change all of my decks from the standard matte clears to the matte clear outers Japanese size. Huge deal. Huge game changer. Super exciting. And as you can see, yeah, this is my Zorga deck. It's still in my standard mats. It's mostly premium decks that I've been changing over. So again, just literally Vanguard sleeves inside those new outers. That's my setup forever now. Um, as far as dice goes, I have two things. I usually use actual Bushiro dice. Like you can see right here, we have a, a dark irregular dice. I, you probably can't see whatever. And a grand blue dice. Yeah, very cool. And then also just random D20s that aren't from an actual brand. Now, as far as playmats go, of course, I still just rock my Zero Damage Gaming playmats. I love these a lot. I really like the edges that are stitched so they don't like start rattling out and so forth. Nice and soft. If you like something else, be my guest. The only thing that I really, really require is, is these stitched edges. I just, I just don't want to play without them. Now, finally, we also have binders. Once again, Dragon Shield sent me one of them, but the funny thing is I was already using those. So as you can see right here, we have a um, black codex, and these are, in my opinion, the best binders. I've tried a few before, and I just really, really like these. So it's like leathery outside. You have a little piece of plastic where you can like write on. So like for example here it says BTO1 because this is my little uh, first set of Vanguard ever collection. But then my other ones have like Great Nature, Aqua Force, Grand Blue. Like I just write whatever it is on there and then you have them all next together. So do you also have like this, this thing so it doesn't fly open. And you can literally just... Ugh, look at that. Wow. My BTO1 collection. Shoutouts to 50 cards. Uh, you can go to 50cards.shop and use the code SOLEM for a discount. But yeah, so um, as you can see, these are like side loading. So if you, do, if you do the good old trick like this, they won't fall out. I really like that. I kind of forgot how many cards fit in. These are like nine cards per page. One thing I will say is they also have a version where they have like four cards per row. And for Vanguard, this is kind of better because generally a Vanguard playset is four cards, right? And so you could have full playset rows that way. The problem is they're all sold out. So once those are back in stock, I hope to gradually build like a, a collection of only the four row ones because it would just look better. 
But for now, these work. Like, this is the best binder. I would just like to have the fourth column for my playsets. So yeah, that's my setup right now. That's how I do my gaming, right? Dragon Shield Nest Plus, Dragon Shield Japanese Outers, the new ones, official Vanguard sleeves with just, you know, some nice imagery on them, zero damage gaming play mats, and dies that I don't even know the brand of. Links to buy all of this will be in the description if you're interested. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.